South Texas Avenue, Suite 106. First item on the agenda is invocation of Pledge of Allegiance of the U.S. and Texas flag, Chapter 2. Mr. Jones and I'll leave. Who wants to call us? Item on the agenda is called for citizens' input and our concerns. Hearing none, we'll consider and take action on agenda items 3 through 21. Number 3 is consider and possible action regarding burn ban. Chris, you want to kind of give us an update of what it looks like? Yes, sir. Uh, right now, I pulled the uh, latest numbers this morning from the Forest Service and our uh, KBDI average increased about 10 points on a scale of 0 to 800 uh, from last week. So we're about the same as we were. In two weeks, we will definitely be in, in some dry conditions. But right now, the majority of the county shows normal moisture levels. Um, the fire chiefs kind of half and half on, on going right now or, or waiting until conditions get worse. But they do definitely want to stay ahead of the curve. and not, not wait until we start having incidents. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we have anything in the forecast, any rain coming. No, sir. Uh, right now the humidity is is high and uh, not helping us, but helping the plants stay stay a little more moist than last summer. So. And we have, you know, we had many fires during the last couple of weeks. Uh, Precinct four did have have one this past weekend, but. For the most part, we, we haven't had much in, in ways of grass fires. I think it's just inevitable. It's going to be, you know, we won't have a choice here in a week or two if we don't do it. Uh, Commissioner, yeah, there's no rain. Just across the street um, at the parking lot, I think it was last Friday or Thursday, we had a, um, um evergreen a bush catch on fire right there um, probably because the dryness but the fire department was calling of course this was after hours the janitor noticed it and called the fire department so we're having little small fires that's probably not reported oh yes ma'am one of the things that scares me a little bit about it is that if we don't had a lot of calls here the last week about the burn ban because the other counties around us had put it on and, and, and I'm afraid if we don't do it there's going to be a lot of people to try to burn a lot of stuff to try to get underneath you know knowing that it's coming pretty quick and that lot will cause us to have some fire that, that we don't really need to have yeah. that's that's what bothers me a little bit about it because I've had I've had quite a few calls about want to know if it's on or not and so that means that you know people have some stuff to burn and if we don't do it and they think we're going to do it in a week or two, they're going to be out there burning a lot of stuff. So I, I think we ought to put it on. 
That's my thought. Is that a motion? I'll make a motion or we put the burn ban on. Second. Okay, motion made, second. Put the, uh, put the burn ban in place. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Soon to come. <laughs> yeah, that's that's number four is change your regular meeting date for the commissioner's court to meet from August the second, twenty sixteen, at ten a.m. to August the first, twenty sixteen, at ten a.m. Move for approval. Second. Motion made. Discussion. I will be in the state of Washington this entire week. Um, representing Brazos County on the USDA Citizens uh, Advisory Committee. So I hope you all will understand. I won't be present, but I, I support the change. You got a home in Washington? <laughs> this is Washington State. I've never been to Washington State. I have traveled to D.C. quite a bit this year, but that's because uh, I've been fortunate to represent Brazos County well, that they invite me back, right. Sammy. That's what that's what that is. You do a good job, but they wouldn't invite you back. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah, and I won't be here August the second either, so we make two hours yeah. out. So that's the reason we probably ought to change it to August the first and make sure we have a quorum well, here. That means Lloyd and I and Kenny be in charge. We can just we have big time. Very scary. Both y'all are gone. <laughs> Well, yeah. Turn it out for We're in trouble now. Well, I hope not. Okay. Uh, we have a motion. Second. We have a motion and a second, but I'm not sure if we could vote. Uh, we haven't voted. Yeah, voted. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None of those carried. Number five, change the location of regular meeting of the Commissioner's Court on August the 9th, 2016, to a spare courtroom, 200 South Texas Avenue, Suite 126, Bryan, Texas. Second. Capital murder trial that's coming in from Tyler uh, to allow them to use this courtroom if they need to. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Number six is request for out of state travel for Wayne Dickey to participate in site visit at the American Jail Association office in Hagerstown, uh, Maryland, August 1. 1st through 2nd, 2016, all expenses will be paid by the American Jail Association. I move we don't approve. I move for <laughs> approval. Second. Well, I'm just kidding that one, okay? I'll that on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Wayne. He didn't get a uh, second. Yeah, yeah that, that motion Well, I'm just going to do that until you decide you're going to take me somehow <laughs> one day. <laughs> on one of these trips, all right? Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got a motion and a second to approve. <laughs> Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Number seven is uh, acceptance of resignation of Ken Meadows from the Appraisal District Board effective immediately. Move for approval. Second. I'll second. Okay. Second. I want to, I want the records to reflect that. I personally thank uh, Ken Netters for the service he has provided to this community. I don't know that everybody knows that his health has failed him and he's resigning for those reasons, but um, it is most unfortunate that we are losing his services. He's done a great job. He's a great, he's mm -hmm. been a great community leader. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, live here anymore. You move back to the valley. That's where he was from. <coughs> yeah. And uh, he he comes back and visits. And I, I maybe one day when uh, when we know that he's going to be in town, we need to see about. Acknowledging. I, I am in complete agreement. I told him you'd buy him lunch. I'll yeah. come back to him again. Yeah. Okay, I will. <laughs> but uh, no, he's been a he's been a great contributor to to our community and. And to Brazos County, and, and we hated to lose him, but he said he does have some medical problems and moved back to the valley. But yeah. okay, uh, and no more discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Number eight is appointment 
Rush Ford, the Appraisal District Board, term of appointment is 7-19-2016 to 12-31-2017, and we've got Rush in the, I, I mean, I don't know, you want to give a speech, Rush? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we... I move approval. Second. <laughs> yeah, before he decides yeah. to back Before I get, get, get away to here, this would be the one to say that I talked to you years ago and told you I'd love to serve, and I know most of the commissioners Thanks for, yeah. Thanks for, for volunteering. To <laughs> Before we go, I need to let everybody know that, that Russ, is a Dem and Russ is a Republican, but he lives on Democrat Road. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's okay. You, you, you do the same. We understand. I keep, trying to, get, I keep trying to get you to move out there. Uh, that you're a Democrat. It's, it's too high. Oh. You know, I can't afford it. Russ and I will make room for you. Uh -huh. I'm not going to no, no our houses. We, we appreciate the fact Those that days are over, <laughs> Sammy. We appreciate the fact that, that, that Russ is... Uh, Will serve on the on the board representing Brazos County for the appraisal yes. district. I know who to call for my appeal now. Commissioner, they assured me that that would not be part of my responsibility. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Number nine is request from the elections administrator. For the following personnel changes effective July 19, 2016, changes will have an increase to the FY 2016 election budget in the amount of $16,072. I move for approval. All the other. Second. Uh, changes? Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ten is payment authorization to Harris N. A. Corp. in the amount of six hundred forty-five dollars ninety-six cents for the purchase of an airline ticket for a witness to State v. versus Ruiz. I move for approval. Well, you know, I was amazed uh, when we got the total bill for previous case I think it was over six hundred thousand yeah it was a capital murder I'd like to uh, well I know there's nothing we can do about it but we're going to be bankrupt if we have m many more of those cases I know. But like you say there's Nothing we can do about it. Okay. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Number 11 is payment authorization for Marius Dennis in the amount of $1,567.50 for the expert witness services. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Administration for a, an additional $151 for previously approved CIP request 2016-93 washer dryer. The current cost is higher than the amount originally budgeted. Move for approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. <coughs> Carries. <coughs> Number 13 request from the jail administration for additional $281 for previously approved CIP request 2016-88 food carts. The current cost of shipping is higher than originally budgeted. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. And I would just say that while those two capital items were a little over, there's there's another capital item, I can't remember what it is right now, that's actually under what the budget was. So ultimately it's it's a wash. Uh, it actually doesn't increase the budget any. All in favor say aye. Aye. designation of applicant's agent for TDEM for FEMA DR 4272. Move for approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Fifties. Discussion. Take possible action on a contract with Pride D, Pride D Performance Consulting LLC for 
yearly review and approval of menu, menus and snacks used for serve detained youth. Move for approval. Second. Motion made second for discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, motion carries. Number 16 is renewal contract 17-006R filters with clean air filters. Move for approval. Second. Preventative maintenance agreement with Cummings Allison for jet scan IFX at tax office. Move for Budget amendments, budget amendments FY 15 slash 16, 42.1 through 42.3. Move for approval. Second. Motion made second discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No motion carries. I'll change status. and input and our concerns. You know we'll adjourn. Thank y'all.